Hey everyone, and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. Let's jump back into this. Now, recap of what... Oh, what's this? After having failed to find a backup of, of Gaia in the Far Zenith facility, Aloy and Varl travel to Meridian in search of a new lead. But fine, they are not the only... That went too fast. Well. I need to attach the Master Override to my new spear. Should be a workbench around here I can use. Anyways, quick recap. Uh, after Gaia destroyed herself in the first game, the terraforming system. I can't remember which one it was called. But the terraforming system gone all haywire. Aloy's trying to find a backup. She went to that far zenith place. The backup that they had was just a trick from the Zero Dawn people. Because Far Zenith uh, tried to steal their backup. And then that lead was kind of dead. Aloy came back here. The spire was activated and she found out that Silence had tricked her. And there is a signal somewhere out in the Forbidden West. And now we're going to head that direction. Uh, what, what's up, Judge? I have this game surprisingly, and there are several very important things the game doesn't tell you. Most important is that side quests change the main story. Cool. Well, I do a lot of side quests anyway, so I don't think, I don't think I'm in any danger of, uh, of missing that. Good to see you back here, Savior. Uh, what? There's something over here. Low game audio? Well, there's not much going on right now, so that uh, that would make sense at the moment. But if it seems low in general, just let me know, and uh, we can potentially do something about that. Uthid, Fanasha, thanks for being here. Wouldn't miss it, even if you did leave us hanging after the big battle. Fanasha, stop. She's here now, isn't she? For the moment. But I see that look on her face. She's got business to attend to, and it isn't in Meridian. You know, I didn't vanish before because I wanted to. I had no Huntress, please. You don't have to justify yourself to us. You saved our butts. If you've got to go, go. With our blessing. Always. How have you been? You both look like you're doing well. Mr. Shiny Pants here is now the Sun King's senior military advisor. That means people actually have to listen to him talk. May the sun bless their sorry souls. At least I say something of substance every once in a while. What was that? I just fell asleep while you were talking. And how about you, Vanasha? I've been looking after Nasadi and Edaman, two parts bodyguard, one part. Bad influence. Huh. I was gonna say nanny, but I like your version better. Uh, Itaman. I never pictured you as a nanny. Itaman must be special. Hold on now. I'm not entirely domesticated. Nasadi was the mad Sun King's wife. She has enemies. I've had to foil a plot or two. Right. You can try to hide it, but inside, you're as soft as a silk pillow. Oh, you have no idea. Oh dear. Uh, we were talking about Edaman? Yeah, okay, I admit it. Edaman's cute, he's fun, and he looks up to me, I like him. Except when he forgets to wash his hands after hooking worms in that muddy garden behind a solarium. Blech. Strange, so... Nobody said the game audio felt low last time. Or was it low last time and you guys just didn't say anything? <laughs> Well, anyways, uh, let's do a quick vote. Who wants the audio turned up and who does not? Who says audio is good? Who says they want it turned up? If you guys want it turned up, we'll turn it up. As uh, I just stare at them. They're like, this is awkward. This is strange. Oh, it was low last time? Well, why didn't you guys say anything? It's just like, eh, it's low. I guess it's just low forever. Okay, cool. You all want it up? Up it is. 
Let's try... Let's try here. And, uh... Let me know. Um, we'll try it for this uh, audio right here and let me know if it seems still a little low or it's better where it's at now. The Shadow Karja. It's been months since I was in Sunfall. What's become of the Shadow Karja? <laughs> After you wiped out the Eclipse, there were hardly any priests or offices left to terrorize the little people. Avad offered amnesty to all who were forced to serve the Shadow. So the commoners cleaned out the Citadel and handed it back to him. The Sundom was unified. Avad wanted Uther to take command of the garrison there, but Captain Cudley here refused. Rumor has it that he wanted to stay close to me here in Meridian. <laughs> That's nonsense, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it is good now. It sounds the same. And you guys can't you guys can't get uh consensus. Still turn it up? <laughs> she poked him. Nice. All right, let me turn it up a little bit more. No, di well, there's definitely a difference, but you guys might not be perceiving it. Let's try this. Alrighty. Farewell. Well, I, I know, I know you're out. Go. Away with you. Always an honor, champion. Always a pleasure. But please, little Huntress, come back someday and tell us about your adventures. If I can't get in trouble, at least I can hear about yours. Hi! I didn't know you were back. Alright, I feel like I actually missed something with them. Champion. Still here? Our lucky day. Was there another thing I under Idaman? Hold you. on. The society was the. Do, 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 do. Uh, we were. T yeah. Except when that muddy. Blech. Nope. Never mind. It's that time. Be safe out there. Indeed. Yeah, there's a balance to be had with my, my stream settings and then the game settings. So I don't want to adjust my stream settings a little bit more than I have because that'll screw up the other games. So if it's still feeling a little bit low. Then uh, we'll see if there's something I can do in the game settings. But you guys seem to have mixed opinions. We're not in combat. Some games vary wildly in the combat audio and the sort of passive audio. So, you know, it might be that when we get into combat, you, you guys are going to be like, it's too loud. Remnants from the Battle of the Alight. So just something to keep in mind. Some games just have a huge variance there. Avad, what's up? The sculptor wanted something even bigger, twice the size, covered in gold and jewels. But I was quite certain you wouldn't appreciate that. You were right. I'm sorry, Avad. It's good to see you, but I can't stay long. I see. I had hoped you'd remain in the city for a time. Perhaps at the palace. Meridian's still in danger. But it's bigger than that. To put things right, I have to go west. To Noct territory. By the sun, that's a Noct? Well, perhaps Murad already told you, but... After years of hostility, we've negotiated a truce, in hopes of a lasting peace. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two. Years of hostility. When you say years of hostility, I assume you mean the Red Raids? Ah, yes. My favorite subject. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to know. As you know, my father raided all the border tribes. The Asaram, Banuk, and Nora suffered greatly, resisting as best they could. But none fought back like the Tanakh. They rose up and assaulted our western front at Barren Light, sweeping us from their lands. Getting them to talk to us again after that was... tricky. 
Hope for peace. How did you get the Tanakhs to talk again after the war? The same way I got you to talk. By giving gifts. <laughs> the Tanakhs like tiaras? <laughs> More like metals, spices, and relics looted during the fighting. We've met with them on several occasions, and the gifts seem to have eased the tension. But this coming embassy is the most important yet. The best sign we've had so far that the Tanakh want lasting peace. Robotic Assassin, thank you! Hey Laster, when you get back to Cyberpunk, will you be continuing with the PS4 version or starting again with the PS5 upgrade? I'll be starting again with the PS5 upgrade, but I'm probably not going to touch it for quite some time. Uh, Alright, after after I get through Avad's audio here, I'll ask you guys again how you feel about the vod volume and maybe we'll turn it up some more. Uh, embassy. What makes this coming embassy so special? Well, just like today, it is special because of the guest. Our delegation will meet with the Tanakh just outside Baron Light. We'll give them treasure, and they'll return a prisoner. Fashav, one of our finest soldiers. Soldier? Don't you mean Raider? No. Not in this case. Fashav is my cousin. Nothing like Helis and his ilk. He joined the Western Expedition with the hopes of reining in certain excesses. But he was captured during a heroic defense of our forward base at Cinnabar Sands. And has been held ever since. Vashav. Your cousin, Vashav. How long has he been a Tanakh captive? Five years. Tanakh emissaries swear he is well, but I wonder. That tribe is renowned for its brutality. How did he survive? I'll know soon enough. If you see him before I do, tell him that I await him in Meridian, where he belongs. If I see him, I will. Edaman. Edaman looks happy. You got him out of Sunfall. Any happiness he has, he owes to you. He's turning into a fine young man. Which he'll need to be if he's to inherit the crown. Wouldn't the crown go to a son of yours first? <laughs> yes, well. I'd have to get married for that to happen. Murad keeps throwing noble matches at me. But I find I'm always... trying to make them into someone they're not. At any rate, I never aspired to the throne, and I don't wish to sit there forever. When Edaman comes of age, I hope to step aside. Free of the crown. I might finally be able to travel the world. Who knows? Perhaps even accompany you on one of your adventures. You make it sound easy. Time to go. I... Uh, I need to get going. Uh, one moment, Aloy. There's something I must ask you. Since you left, I've thought of little else. This isn't really the time. But it has to be. The way you left before, there's no way to know when I'll see you again. I'm not trying to stop you. Or hold you back. But I need to know. When your mission is over, will you return to Meridian? And stay? Long enough for us to... Spend time to get to know each other properly, perhaps. Flashpoints offer moments of emotional choice. How Aloy expresses her personality is up to you. Choose the fist and Aloy will confront the challenge directly. Choose the brain and Aloy will use her insight to find a clever, less obvious approach. Choose the heart and Aloy will express compassion or give voice to her deepest convictions. All right. What do you guys want? Are you kidding? Now is not the time, or it's a nice thought. Fist, brain, or heart? Choose Aloy's destiny. Mods, 
I think I'm gonna have you try to make sense of this. <laughs> I'm seeing lots of brain and heart. Very little fist. <laughs> Tell him no hanky panky. <laughs> I think heart's winning. I'm seeing a lot of heart. All right, I'll give you guys like 20 more seconds or maybe less 10 more seconds but it looks like heart heart is the the winner okay we're going with heart it's a nice thought I do hope to see Meridian again about and you but this mission it's my life it's all I can think about. I have to stay focused. What happens after? I can't imagine that. I... I wouldn't know where to begin. Well, if that place were to end up being Meridian, know that you will always receive a boundless welcome here. Tend to your mission, Aloy. I will hope for your success. And look forward to your return. All right. Perhaps that will have repercussions later on. Uh, how are we feeling about volume? We we still want it up, or is it good? Well, that's everyone. I guess it was nice to catch up for a little while. Are we good now, or are we still looking to to pump the audio up a bit? It's good. It's good. Good. I turn mine way up on my end. <laughs> I want 4K. Well, I would need uh, an insane internet connection for that. Maybe a little higher? I don't know. Most people... S well, Veronica wants it a little bit louder. I don't know. It seems like most people are okay with it at this volume. So unless I see more people saying, hey, it's too low, I think we'll, we'll leave it here. But most people seem to be happy with this. Cool. I'll, I'll leave it here for now. Uh, let's see. Anything else going on here before we leave? Uh, grapple point? What's a grapple point doing over here? Aha! The supply cache. Wait, metal plate? Yeah, we've gotten that. We've got that. Yeah, you. Great to see you. Oh, hi. To get us Ostrom to do all the hard work. Yeah, I think we got it all. Could go up there. I don't see any reason. Oh, I do see a reason. Okay. Alright, do I jump backwards? What we got here? A moderate valuables cache. Wasn't that good. <laughs> Who knew you couldn't get fiber optic cable in bum fudge Woodland, California? <laughs> Not quite. It's it's uh, that my download speed is actually great. I get 800 uh, megabyte download speed here. The, the issue is the upload speed. And even in the city, I couldn't get an upload speed that would support 4K. I can only do 4K videos. I can't do 4K streams like that. Requires 
an insanely beefy upload speed. So, nothing I can do about that. If I could do 4K, I would, but I can't. And neither can most people. Alright, I'm gonna assume there's something over here and it looks like there is. That's all good. Anything else? That's where I was before or no? Let me check over there. It all is the same. Wait, what was that? Oh, hello. The Nora of Legends. <gasps> nice to make your acquaintance. The Nora of Legend. Oh, wait, I see something over there. What's that? Supply cache. How do we get up there? Got Blaze. I haven't picked up Blaze before. Blaze ammunition or ammunition resource an extremely flammable biofuel processed by machines. Blaze canisters can be detonated by shooting them with a fire arrow. Sources obtained from machines that use fire weapons or carry blaze canisters or intact blaze sacks. Tear off the canisters to harvest more. Used for crafting ammunition and traps that deal fire damage to burn enemies and damage them over time. How am I liking the grapple? I'm getting used to it. At first I didn't like it. It was kind of clunky. But now it's... It's feeling better. So it was really just user error. But I, I like it. I'm a fan. All right, that's the spire up there. There's where we went up before. Anything else to do here? No. Okay, I think we are ready to move on. And get away from my statue. I know Aloy is going to hate that statue. Uh, can we go this way? Oh, wait. Did I look over here? I did not. Let's go get that. Oh, did we ever figure out if we actually need to destroy the uh, dummies or not? Because there are some dummies here. I'm, I'm assuming... Oh, right. We're not leaving yet. We're remaking the spear. Um, I'm assuming that the dummies are not part of a trophy in this game because they've been like coming back but since we're unsure i'll go ahead and destroy this one although i already did yeah i destroyed this one before it came back it came back all right anything over here nope all right let's go ahead and remake our spear they're not a trophy already Meridian owes you a debt it can never repay, Savior. Use the workbench. Spear upgrade installs the master override and a new module to enable the buildup and release of kinetic energy in combat. Requires the resonator blast skill to use. I think that was that thing that we saw in the tutorials at the end of the last stream. Master override installed. Plus, something new to store up and release energy. A uh, resonator. Should help in a fight. What would I give the game out of a 10? Oh, it's way too early for me to have a, a strong opinion about it. But so far, I like it. Seems like some good additions. But still maintaining the, the core concepts of the game, which I appreciate. I don't like sequels that just like change everything. So, so far, I'm a fan. But I, I certainly wouldn't give it a, a rating yet. Aloy, are you finished with your friends? Or do you need more time? Uh, time to go. I better get going. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? 
past the Daunt, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Baron Light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll arrange it. Never seen anyone use one of those to get around. Is that how I get to Baron Light? Uh, yes, I mean, usually, but not today. Uh, not yet. And why is that? Well, the Daunt. The whole valley. It's infested with machines. Uh, 
I can handle machines. Oh, I'm sure you can, but uh, I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at Chain Scrape sounds the all clear. Look, I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. Well, but then who would crank it back up? <laughs> fine, fine. Though, should anyone ask, it might be best to say you forced me. Hey, level smoke, three. But not a lot of activity. Smoke's probably coming from something the machines wrecked. As for the quiet, well, there's a work stoppage in effect because of all the fuss. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? Nasty ones and lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. The strangeness is, they're not native to the Dodge. Just showed up, all of a sudden. No hunters to kill them? Well, we've got hunters, just none that want to cross Olvent. Boss of Chain Scrape. He is self-appointed. Work stoppage was his idea. Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. Got an embassy to attend. You should have said that ain't gonna happen no time soon. What are you talking about? Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja Sun Priest. Cranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man. So he says. That embassy at Baron Light, he's the one supposed to run it. Ah! Great. If you don't do as I say immediately, the Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent. Exposed to attack, I might have died. Oh, me you refuse to transport, but not this... This... What? This Nora girl? This savage? Besides, Scallywag. Wadis. That's Aloy. Studious Wadis. Aloy? You know, savior of Meridian? Really? Well... That lessens the insult, I suppose. I came here for the embassy at Baronlight. Way I hear it, so did you. Well, not with the valley infested. And so did Aramon proclaim the sun priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See, scripture. I shall head to Baron Light when the captain of the vanguard tells me the way is clear, and not a moment sooner. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know? Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less... scroll. Vadis. Studious Vadis. Studious Vadis sent Erend and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak... Hey! Shh. Down the valley then? Yeah, said they check the ruins on the left bank for tracks. Take it from there. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the smith and chain scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. I'll find Aaron and I'll bring him back. Hey! Where do you think you're going? What? To the top of the ridge. To wait in safety. Sorry. Operator's under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? That's right. <laughs> Best start cranking. <laughs> Why? Why? Jorf, would you kindly escort Studious to Chain Scrape and wait for me there? You got it. I will find Erend, and I will help clear a path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light. Embassy. If such be the will of the sun, 
It will be. Trust me. Smack down, Aloy. Woo! She still got that bite. I gotta find Errand, but it might be good to hit chain scrape first and upgrade my bow. Swipe up on the touchpad to reveal the full HUD and review your current quest objectives. Cool. I shouldn't need to do that too much, but go to chain scrape and find Errand. Okay, so we did get a level just for existing. Oh, we got a new tool. We got a new tool. Uh, okay, our small health potion is a new tool, apparently. Oh, no. No, no, we got the fast travel pack. This item provides fast travel to a single discovered campfire or settlement throughout the world. Open the map to choose a place to fast travel to. Crafting ingredients. These resources are required to craft this item. Crafting can be done in your hunter's kit or at the workbench. Ridgewood and wild meat. That should be easy. I actually forgot that there was, um, you had to use a, a pack to fast travel in the first game. But now it's all coming back to me. All right, what do we got around here? There's always goodies, and we got a data point. All right, now I got a level. We should um, we should use that now. So I just got a bronze ingot. That's just another sell item. Valuable to sell. A polished metal block that is valuable to merchants. Obtained from human enemies or by searching settlements, camps, and outposts. Sell for shards. All right. As for our skills, I think I think at the top right it says I have a skill point. Yeah. So we could get concentration region, recover concentration faster. That could be good. Why can't I? Oh, this is a passive boost that can be recognized by its circular shape. Skills in this category provide a constant increase to your basic capabilities. Learning passive boosts multiple times increase their benefits. Outfits and weaves can also improve their effects. All right, got it. Uh, and then there's deep concentration. Concentration depletes more slowly, prolonging use. I think I'd want that. Yeah. And what's this? This is a Valor Surge. Learn all three connected skills to automatically unlock it. Ah. Equip a Valor Surge to use it. Valor Surges are powerful special abilities that require a buildup of Valor to use. Earn Valor through various actions in combat, like removing components, targeting weak points, and defeating enemies. Each skill tree offers different Valor Surges that provide unique advantages. Interesting. So, this one, bolster your resolve and deal more damage with ranged weapons for a limited time. Nice. Boost range damage by 30%. And recover 5% health per hit. Ooh. But, it says three connected skills, but it only has one connected skill. Oh, I see. I see. We already have this one right here. I don't even know what it is, but we have whatever that is. And we need this one and this one. That makes more sense. All right. I'm thinking deep concentration. So why don't we go with that? I want that concentration for longer. Well, actually, I don't stay in concentration that long. Maybe the regen is better. Maybe the regen's better. I don't know. 100% recovery speed or 15% depletion speed. I'm thinking recovery might be better. Let's go with recovery. Let's go and learn this. There we go. And of course, there's other um, skill trees as well, but I think the bow right now is what we should really be focusing on. All right, and that was a data point over here. Oh, metal bone. I don't have those. So many things. Metal bone, a pristine metal rod harvested from a machine. Obtained from any machine. Crafting ammunition for trip casters, spike throwers, and bolt blasters. All right, what we got here? Commander's mandate. Scanned glyphs. Uh, a short scroll of parchment with an official seal. By mandate of Commander Nozar, all residents of the Daunt are herewith informed of the following. The gates between Barren Light and No Man's Land are hereby ordered shut and sealed in expectation of the imminent embassy. None are allowed passage either way until further notice. No exceptions will be made regardless of clan, house, or tribe. 
Based on previous grievances and misunderstandings, let it be clear that no exceptions will be made for the Osirum either. Any outstanding arrangements made pertaining to passage are hereby declared postponed or void, depending on the nature and timing of the arrangement. No exceptions will be made. Again, to eliminate any doubts, should they remain, all of the above pertains to the Osirum, regardless of circumstances, excuses, or so-called binding contracts. Any complaints and or restitutions, if at all applicable, can be addressed to Captain Lawan, my second in command. Signed in the light of the sun, Nozar Aren Kuvaman, commander of Baron Light. I kind of want to talk to this guy again and, and talk more crap to him. Gathering medicinal berries beyond the capacity of your medicine pouch sends them to your inventory buildup reserve. Okay. If you'll excuse me, I need to contemplate. Yes, you do. About your place in the world. I'll get us packed up and move us along. Alrighty. Let's look around. Oh, looks like we got a campfire, our first one. I could finally make a manual save. Discover a campfire by approaching it, which unlocks a new fast travel location. Light the campfire with triangle to save your game. Ah, yes. So many things I've forgotten. All right, I want a manual save. My first one. Okay. Oh, and what is that? Is that a grapple point? Yep. Oh, what did it say? Exposed framework capable of supporting human weight can be grappled to when in range. All right, so how do I look at the map again? All right, so we got a question mark over there. And we've got chain scrape. I kind of want to go exploring a little bit. What do you guys think? Go explore a little bit or or should we just stick to our main quest for the time being? Because I kind of want to see what's up here. We got a question mark there, and we got a question mark there. I kind of want to look around. Explore? Heck yeah, my people. My people. Explore. I don't know if I'll be able to just go straight across like this. <laughs> the the grapple's kind of kind of janky on some of these jumps. Oh, why don't I have the fast travel thing equipped? Uh, I do need some meat, don't I? Sorry, boy. He's taking it like a champ. Hey, where are you going? Where you going? I'm rusty. I wasn't ready for fleeing enemies. Oh, there you are. Ah. Where you at? Where you at? I can't see you in this... Crap. Oh, wait. The focus will show me where it went, won't it? Or maybe not. Maybe not. Well, no meat for me. He got away. Mm, how do I get it? It's acting like I can climb it. Ah, right, here we go. Tag a boar before you go hunting? Oh, yeah, yeah. I should have done that. I should have done that. All right. What's so special about up here? Oh, looks like we found a quest. And what was that? Midnight Bloom? What's Midnight Bloom? What is this? What does this do? Oop. Midnight Bloom. Uh, dye plant. This mysterious dark flower has a heavy musky fragrance. Utaru seed trackers say it is best picked at the time of a new moon. Often found growing on rocky cliffs. 
Unlocking outfit dies at dyers. Did the first game have dies? I don't remember dies in the Snow first game. I wonder where it's coming from. I don't remember dies. Ooh, how am I gonna get down? Oh, maybe right here. Oh, am I near a question mark? What's this? Not much I can do about those vines for now. Oh, a metal flower! I remember these collectibles. I remember these. I discovered the block path. Oh, what do I do with it though? Metal flower sprouting organic vines vulnerable to impact. Special gear required to clear. Oh. Special gear? I don't have special gear. I got I got basic gear. It says it's blocked, but it looks like I can go up there. Oh, what's a vigor stem? Vigor stem, this hardy young plant shoot has a crisp, refreshing taste. Occasionally harvested from any plant, crafting the most potent potions. Oh, cool. And bitter leaf? When did I pick this up? Said to aid digestion, this sharp tasting leaf is also delicious when cooked properly. Harvested from bitter leaf plants, which are often found growing in rocky areas of the Daunt and No Man's Land. Purchasing food in cooks and settlements. Or from cooks and settlements. Wow. Oh, can't get past this. Maybe if I do a heavy attack? No. Alright. I don't think I can get in there. Probably need some sort of fire thing, but I don't I don't have any fire. I got ice. So I guess we'll return later. Alright. Um Oh right, these things I can repel down on. That's right. Oh, use the pole caster? Crap. That's a good point. Looks like they're in some kind of trouble. What? Where do you see miners? Oh, right there. I think that's the foreman. I should check in with him. You good? I, I'm okay. Thank you, Corvin. Corvin? Not, not now. Uh, uh. Easy. Whew. What happened? Explosion in the mine. The water flooded the whole place. I, some of my guys are still. They're still down there. I can't, can't stop. You've done enough. Uh, are you hurt? Are you hurt? I'm... I'll live. The others. Please. What happened? I need to know exactly what happened. We use control blasts to open up new veins in the mountain. One of them must have gone wrong. I can't... I have to go. How many are down there? How many are still down there? Corvent, how many? Uh... Two. Two, I think. Two more. I'll do what I can. New side quest, Deep Trouble. Open the quest menu. Uh, two Osram never made it out of a mine after a dangerous explosion flooded the tunnels. Without help, they have no hope of escape. Two skill points. Nice. And an Osram artificer? Huh. I guess he'll be a crafter for me. 
Okay. Cool. Let me check around the camp really quick first. Got another wild boar, but we'll wait on that. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. Did anyone see where the water was coming from? If only that scorch mark pulled and hadn't pushed us so hard. Alright, let me just stock up on some medicine and we'll go in. Stay with me. The Crimson Arrows. I've got to find those two miners. Tap square to dive, okay. Oh, got some underwater stuff. Ooh, Aloy, you don't have a lot of breath. Alright, hurry up, grab this. Medicinal berries, I think those might be new. Oh crap. I thought. Okay, Hello? Good. Can anyone hear me? You can change your active quest by opening the menu with the touchpad and navigating to the quest tab. Um, let me look at those medicinal berries. Are those new? I guess they weren't. Never mind. Alright, what else was down here? Nothing? Nothing. Alright. Oh! Oh, there's a purple thing up there. Heck yeah! Give me that purple thing. I'm gonna climb up. Nope, nope. Alright, we got Burrower Sound Shell. Ancient Chimes. Charged cir or Charger Circulator. Small Machine Core and Metal Shard. So two of those were new. Let's see. Burrower Sound Shell. An intact cell of compressed air torn off from a burrower. Obtained by detaching the com component with tear damage. Upgrading weapons and outfits or selling for metal shards is what it's for. Charger Circulator, a small circular disc harvested from a charger, obtained only from chargers, purchasing and upgrading weapons and outfits we're selling. Okay. Oh, what was that? Oh, they're over there. Alright, well, I want to explore a little bit. I'm in no rush. They'll be fine. Oh, well, I guess I'm going to them anyway. Hurry, Aloy! Boost! Oh, there you go. That's how you boost. The miners. One of them doesn't look too good. I think I'm starting to see things. Is that a Nora? Are you okay? Who are you? Corvin sent me. Are you hurt? Uh, my leg. I... I was a little too close to the blast. What happened? We were blasting in the farthest tunnel, but the scaffolding didn't hold. It collapsed. I... I think it blocked the drainage shaft. Water started flooding the place as quick as I drink ale. I barely managed to drag us here. So something's keeping the water inside the tunnels. What are you thinking? I've got an idea. Are there more explosives? Are you crazy? Yeah. She'll still be some up top, but... You'll need these fuses. Are you crazy? You can't move, and I'm not leaving you. It's not like she can make things worse. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Blowing stuff up. Find whatever's blocking that drainage shaft and blow it sky high. Hopefully, without bringing the mine down on top of me. The water's rising. If you're gonna do anything about it, now's the time, kid. Dude, I'm helping you. Just don't, don't blow us up. It's this kid crap. All right, let's see. Special gear, we got the fuse, a short length fuse, essential for detonating mining explosives. At least everyone else is safe. You should both leave before it's too late. No one's leaving anyone to die today. 
have him one. Water's rising. If you're gonna do anything about it, now's the time, kid. Stop calling me, kid. Just don't, don't blow us up. All right, I'm actually. I'll go this way. Some some machines in here. There's the debris blocking the shaft. If I can reach those explosives if I'm on track, maybe I can blast through the blockage. Alright, so down there, container capable of supporting human weight can be moved by the handles or with the pull caster. And then we've got a supply cache there, and we've got another one there. And then something rare over here. Uh looks like I can just Climb up over here. Or not? I guess not. Okay. Maybe if I go up there. No, I can't go up there. All right, we'll figure that out in a bit. Wanda! Hey, I actually did it. Look at that. Alright. I don't think I can use the pool caster underwater, so I probably have to drain the water first, and then I can do that. But at least for right now, I can get this. Metal bite and ridge wood. That wood's gonna be ruined. Can't make an arrow out of that. It's all wet. Right, hold on. Aloy, stop getting stuck. <laughs> Wait, is she a dolphin? She might be. Turn this in my stash later. Did I see something in there? Maybe? Eh, guess not. <laughs> Just getting some weird animations there. Alright, how do I get up? Oh, right here. Oh, there's another over there. Interesting. Yes, yeah, so I got I got those two over there. I got to figure that out. Oh, we've got some company. Uh, guess we go into the water. Yeah, I don't know anyone that swims like that. <laughs> it's like a professional swimming flip, isn't it? What's at the bottom of this? There's gotta be something. Yeah. I'll quickly get down here. Got some blast paste. Nice. That's for making those um, explosive traps. 
Hurry up. Uh, I got turned around. I think it's this way. Yeah, yeah, I came from there. This way. One up there, I can't see the other one. There he is. Um, wait for an opportunity. Oh, there might be another over there. Yep, another over there. Crap. I'm going for it. Crap. I think the other one's heard me. Yep, they're after me. Oh, he's throwing rocks. That's rude. Got him in the eyeball. Boom, he's gone. Gotcha. That's all of them. Now to find a way out of this room. Alright, that went well. Let me get some more arrows. Those explosives. I should follow those tracks. See if they lead to the explosives. Alright, what are these weird things? Concealing omen. Mature fungus can be struck to release a cloud of spores that may obstruct visual detection. Oh, interesting. So if I hit this thing, or do I shoot it? Nice! Refresh stealth area? Oh, I see. And then you can reset it? I guess so. Interesting. Shooting nearby mushrooms will create a temporary stealth area. Yep. Alright, we've got a generous supply cache. It's like it's along the tracks, though. up there apparently right. Let's see where this leads. Is this that generous supply cache? No, it's a small blast paste and metal shards. Actually, um let me go ahead and make some blast traps for a rainy day. Cause I can make plenty of those, yeah. Let's craft a couple. Cool. That'll work. Here's the generous one. Ooh, very generous. Bunch of blast paste, metal bone, a blast trap. I think I can only hold three, so I probably shouldn't have made two. And a spark. There's the explosives up on the track. Just need to get across somehow. Alright, so we got the ladder now. That doesn't help me, is there? Ah, pull caster.
Alright. Uh, detonate and run, I guess? No, you don't. Oh, he got me with it. Why does he got so much health? There we go. Got the weak one. Wow, this is like a powerful one. Oh, he got the knockdown. Get in there. Yeah, right to the face. Oh, all right, keep hitting them. Got him. Oh, another one. Oh, shot me, what a jerk. Oh, man. Ammo. All right, I'm wondering if I can get my blast trap down. Hurry up! Got it! Oh, look at that! Oh, man. Man, timing on that dodge is weird. Get it quick! That's all of them. Now let's go check on those miners. Nice. All right, burned through uh, six of my medicine, unfortunately. Tracker, burrower, circulator. I don't know if we've gotten one of those before. We have not. Uh, tracker burrow or circulator. It's a gear upgrade resource a small circular disc harvested from a tracker burrower Are those different from the burrowers? Obtained only from tracker burrowers. I think they are different. I should have scanned it uh, Purchasing and upgrading weapons and outfits or selling for metal shards. Okay Alright, so we got this thing. Oh, I guess I'm gonna have to pull that out to get up somewhere. Maybe over here. Got the resource canister. Yeah, I think I drag it over here to get up there, maybe? Or, oh no, maybe I just drag it right here. Let me see what happens. Get me up there. Yep, no problem. All right. Ancient black bracelet. Last paste, ancient wreath, a claw strider circulator, metal shards, and ancient toothpicks. So two of those were new things. Ancient black breastplate, or breastplate, <laughs> I, can't, I can't read. Ancient black bracelet, valuable to sell, a cracked rusted piece of scrap from the old world that offers decent value when sold to merchants, often found while exploring old world ruins, selling for metal shards, and then we got the claw strider circulator, gear upgrade resource. A small circular disc harvested from a claw strider, obtained only from claw striders. Upgrades and selling. Hold on a second. Ah, that heater. Okay, so 
There was another thing up here. How do I get up there? Maybe, maybe if I get over there? I don't know if I can jump up there. I'll try. Oh, okay. And then maybe a pull caster? Yeah, I might be able to pull caster that down. Yeah! Did I go all the way down? Yep. Nice. Right, looks like we need the old pole caster again. Actually, before I leave, let's look around. What is that? We missed something. Moderate supply cash. Uh, it looks like another thing to pull caster down near the explosives. I don't know if I can easily get back up there again. Let's see. Yeah, I might have to go all the way around. Crap. Uh. Wait, how did we get there before? Oh, I might be blocked off now. Crap, I might not be able to get that. Let's see if we can find a way. I might be out of luck on that. Uh, oh, actually, maybe we can use the ladder. Maybe we can use the ladder. Once I pull this out. Yeah, I think so. Got it. Got it. Uh, wait a minute. Wait, this was not the ladder I was thinking it was. Oh no, it blew up the uh the thing to get up. Yeah, I think we're out of luck on that. That's a bummer. I don't think there's any other way up. Yeah, I need to go. Oh, actually, hold on. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I can go over here. Yeah, yeah, we still got the ladder over here. Oop. Okay. Need a sprint. Jump. Aloy, jump! <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? There we go. Aloy under strong ankles, I know, right? Danny needs to take notes. Alright, where is... Where is it? Oh, it's right there. I see it. That's fun, I like that. That went all the way to the bottom, didn't it? I think it did. Alright, how do we get down safely? <laughs> I guess we just go back over here. See, Aloy knows how to roll with the momentum. That's why she can take those giant falls. What do we got here? Rich meat. Nice. Acid trap. Ooh. Very cool. Uh, an ammo that deals acid damage is now available in your inventory. Use your focus to scan enemies and see if they are weak to acid. Hitting enemies with acid will build up the corroding state. Once in this state, an enemy's armor takes damage over time and has reduced damage resistance. Shoot acid canisters with acid arrows to detonate them and trigger a large elemental explosion. Cool. So let's take a quick look. Canister of metal bites strapped to a wooden stake. Once placed, it detonates on contact or when shot, creating an acid explosion. So it's 200 acid damage and then 200 acid buildup. Crafting ingredients. These resources are required to craft this item. Crafting can be done in your hunter's kit or at the workbench. Machine muscle, metal bite, and metal shards. We have all that. I don't think I have the recipe to craft it, though. Or maybe I do. Maybe I do. 
And then what else did we pick up? I don't know, actually. Supposedly something in here. But I don't see it. Well, I'm not sure. Whatever it was, we saw it, apparently. Initially came through. What's up there? Interesting. Did I go through here before? This doesn't look familiar. I need to go up. So we don't know that. <laughs> they think I'm dead. You don't know Aloy then. Telling me, <laughs> you did it. I thought you blew yourself up. Are you two okay from here? I can get this idiot down. Don't you worry. Thanks, kid. Stop calling me kid, or I'll shoot you. All right, turn to Corvend. I was curious about that ladder. I don't think I've gone up there. What? Gotta be a big moment back out of here now. Very happy back Watch. So if I go up there. Oh. Oh, I guess I have? Oh, okay, that's when it was flooded. I swam through here, maybe? Yeah, I think I did. Okay, never mind. Come on. Up we go. <sighs> Just give me a minute. All right, I'm sure there's stuff we missed over here. Better let Corvin know his men are all right. Pull the box in? Well, I've been up there before. Unless you guys think I haven't. What is this? Seems like something important, right? I guess not. I guess it's just a plant. How would it grow that fast, though? How, how long has this place been flooded? That can't be right. That can't be right. Wait. I'm not ready to exit yet. There's that one path I hadn't checked out. How did we get that way? I guess we can only go from the main room? Or is it this way? Oh, it might be this way. Yeah, and this is their room? Yep. Okay, we saw it all. Scan the red stuff? I guess we could do that really quick. Oh, it is something. Anomalous growth, hybridized crystalline and fungal growth to are of unknown origin and vulnerable to impact special gear required to clear. I wonder if the pull caster would work. No. All right, apparently we gotta come back for this. Interesting. All right, remember that thing. We've also got the metal flower up top, which we couldn't do anything about. How big is the map compared to the first game? I have no idea. I mean, we could try to figure it out. It's uh, it's looking mighty big. Actually, yeah, I don't know. I doubt this is everything. This is probably just like a starter area. But yeah. Scanning it puts it on your map, does it? Uh, I don't see it on my map. Oh, uh, maybe, no? I don't think it did. 
I don't think it did. I found the two you mentioned. They're safe, but could probably use a hand. Is that everyone? <sighs> it is. I dread to think what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. I knew we were blasting too much, but the man who staked the claim here, Ulvund, uh, he kept pushing and pushing me. I tried to shield my crew from his constant demands every damn day. I... I should have been stronger. You were there for your crew when they needed you. That counts for something. Ulvan can threaten me all he wants. I am not letting my people back into those mines. Will you be all right? Yes. I can take it from here. You are owed, Huntress. Completed side quest. Ulvan's Deep name trouble. keeps coming up. And it's never good. Sooner or later, someone's gonna have to deal with him. Face paint on Oh, it's a face paint. I see. And we got level four. Nice. So we got another skill point. We got three now. More health. Beautiful. Let's see. How do we want to spend these points? And what does Survivor do again? Let me see what options we have in Survivor. So we got the potent medicine. Low health defense. Oh, I need to do this first, I guess. No? Wait, it's... Maybe I can't spend points? Oh, I don't have potent medicine? Medicinal barriers provide more healing and heal you faster. Oh, we should probably get this. Plus 50% healing and plus 50% healing speed. Yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this. That'll be one of our points. Low health defense. Resist more damage when in the critical health state. I get hit so hard. I don't think that's really going to come into play. Low health region, automatically recover health sooner when in the critical state. Eh, I don't know if that's going to really do much either, to be fair. Let's say no to that. Let's look at Hunter again. I think we get the deep concentration. Concentration is always going to be helpful. So let's get that. And we could even, you know, boost some of these to level 2 if we wanted to. Increase your concentration limit. Oh, we should probably... Oh, I can't boost it. Oh, yeah, you can only buy the skill once. So I guess you need, like, gear or whatever to get to two. Okay, I got uh, one more point. What do we got here? Valor Surge Master. Build up Valor faster. Well, I don't have any Valor skills yet, so that wouldn't help. Weapon Stamina Plus. Increase your weapon stamina limit. To use a weapon technique, aim with L2 and fire with R1. I don't have those yet. All right, that's no help. What's Trapper do? Quick Trapper. Place traps faster on the field. Oh, well, that would come in handy. Yeah, let's let's get a uh, Quick Trapper. There we go. There we go. Spreading our, our points out a little bit. Thank you, Huntress. I'll see the last two make it out. Thank you, Huntress. I'll see the last two make it out. I'm not sure why he still has the exclamation mark over his head, but... Okay. Uh, there's a campfire over here. We should unlock that and then see what the heck's hiding over there. I'm expecting that you can't get all the skill points in one playthrough. You'll have to do a new game plus. Uh, I don't know. I'm sure somebody knows. I do not. I actually kind of expect you could. If you did absolutely everything. Which, of course, we will do. Why does this have a timer on it? Unavailable. Okay. Let's do a manual save. Shall we? Shiny's your map was updated to show the blocked path. Oh, it's a path. That makes more sense. All right, so we got a blocked path there. And then, no? Oh, yes. No. No, it didn't. Unless I can click it. No. Unless I, no. The blocked path was near the, um, was near that metal flower. So that's not what that is. So this doesn't tell me that that thing's inside. Unless I'm missing something. 
So not quite, actually. There's no new game plus? There probably will be. But apparently not yet. Alright, back up 10, uh, 10, uh, Healy Majigs. It's the technical term, Healy Majig. I can turn this around. Oh, oh, hi. Alright, uh, are you the special one? Come on, I'm gonna scan this thing. Or no, I'm not. Ow! Well, use that new healing capability. Right, where's he at? Crap. I'm trying to scan you. There we go. No, he's just a burrower. Okay. I don't know. Oh, terrible shot there. It's hard to deal with this overgrowth. Oh, took it off. Now I need more. Got him. My last shot. Oh, Burrower Primary Nerve. I think that's new. Oh, no, it's not. Never mind. Wow, their detection range is huge. He saw me from a mile away. Oh, and am I caught? No, I wonder if I can, I wonder if the vertical takedown is uh, an unlock skill or not. Aha, we do get it by default, nice. Hey, stealth killed 10 machines. Beautiful. All right, so we get the uh, the drop takedown by default in this game. I like that. What do we got over here? Supply cache. I found a burrower site. Oh, they swim? Hold on, what is that? Could use fire against it. That's a burrower. Uh-oh. Hello, burrower. Yeah, come over here. Come over here, I dare you. Let's see. There's a rock. Oh. Uh. <laughs> that wasn't what I had planned. No, what? Use the rock. Why aren't you using the rock? There we go. I'll have to find a cauldron out here to learn how to override that. Override that? What's she talking about? Oh, she's talking about that? No? I don't think. I can go over there. I don't know what good that's gonna do. Oh, can I not shoot through the water? Oh, he angry. Good night. I wonder if I could fight these underwater. I don't want to, but I wonder if I could. Alright. River Bloom. That's new. River, or river bloom leaf, food resource, sometimes called life's journey. This leafy plant is sweet when young, but bitter when old. 
harvested from river blooms, which are often found growing in rivers and lakes in the Daunt and No Man's Land. It's for purchasing food from cooks in settlements. Right. Apparently it's uncommon. Alright, I am curious what is over here. I assume there's something up above. That midnight bloom. There must be something up here. Or not. Mm. Oh, there we go. Found something. What is this? Oh, it seems like something special. Green shine sliver. What the heck is this thing? Green shine sliver. A tiny piece of a rare, highly valuable green crystal found most commonly in eastern regions, often off the beaten path. It's used for upgrading weapons and outfits or purchasing rare coils, weaves, and machine parts from merchants. I see. I see. Oh, you have found a piece of green shine, a rare and valuable resource hidden all over the world. Green shine can be used for upgrading certain weapons and outfits or trading with specific merchants. Cool, already finding all the shinies. Oh no, Reaper, you got hit with the weeb? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hear it's a, a lifelong disease. Get this from my stash when I need it. Alright, looks like there's another question mark nearby. There is something unknown. Watchtower at the top of that cliff. Ah. I there's anything still inside. I found the secret. Looks like the path out broke a long time ago. I'm gonna have to climb. Don't fall, Aloy. Whatever you do, don't look down. Keep all the green shine you find. You'll need a lot to upgrade your gear. I mean, I don't know what else I'd do with it. But that is the plan. What the heck? Grab the ledge. You're scaring me, Aloy. You're scaring me. All right, let's go grab that. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> Jeez. It's, uh... Make an interesting color for my armor. It is, uh, periodically not grabbing ledges. I don't like that. Oh, weird. Grapple point over there. All right. Whoa! Okay. I wasn't expecting her to jump off like that. <laughs> Aloy's trying to give me a heart attack. I think that's what's going on here. It's like, watch what I can do. No, I don't want to see that. Oh, that was an Azure Bloom. That's something new. What is an Azure Bloom? Azure Bloom and Utaru Children's Tale, Tales of a Mighty Flood. When the deluge finally receded, it left its tears behind wherever the waters had reached their highest. Often found growing on rocky cliffs. And it's for unlocking outfit dyes. Okay. Alright, well, I guess if you want to be fancy, you can... You can use the grapple, but... She's scaring me with that grapple. I don't, I don't trust it. 
go. There we go. This is gonna be a pretty crazy rappel down, I imagine. All right, what we got here? Ancient black bracelet again, ancient wreath, metal shards, and ingots, and I think I heard an enemy? All the way up here? Is that right? I don't know. How do I get up? Nope, nope, nope. Alright, over here maybe? Oh, God. There we go. Okay, I can go up that way. But first, grab this. Gather a signal. Gather a signal lens. Lens of dawn. Looks like some kind of lens. Guess I'll keep it for later. All right, part of some collection, I guess. The lens of dawn signal lenses a dome-shaped piece of glass that refracts light. Recovered from a Karja signal tower at the northeast end of the Daunt. All right, I'm confused. Oh, it's in special gear? Okay. So yeah, there's six of these, apparently. We found the first one. And I could have gone this way? Interesting. Oh, there's something down there. Ha-ha! Trying to hide stuff from me. You won't hide it on the backside. I will find it. I will find it every time. Is this a generous... Generous cash. Ancient bright bracelet. I don't think I've seen that. A plow horn circulator. That's new. Ancient bright bracelet. A cracked rusted piece of scrap from the old world that offers decent value when sold to merchants. Often found while exploring old world ruins. Sell it. And then plow horn circulator. A small circular disc harvested from a plow horn. Obtained only from plow horns and grim horns. And it's for upgrading and selling. Uh, okay, how do I get back up? Maybe I should go this way? Yeah, I think I gotta go this way. Oh, what's that? Bitter leaf. Is that something? Kind of looks like something. What is that? Let me go look at this. Oh, crap. Uh, no, that just looks like death. There's death that way. Okay. Propel down. Dude, how long is that rope? That would just destroy your hands. She has no skin left. It's all gone. It's all gone. Poor Aloy. Used to have skin on her hands. But now, nothing. Okay. Oh, weird. Doesn't even show on the map anymore. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, do, do, do. I guess we'll just keep going down the river here. Oh, well, we never... I guess we have an unknown charger site. Let's go ahead and make it known. I don't know if I've scanned a charger, have I? Probably haven't. Shock ammo could help. Charger. Oh, something's nearby. Or no? Maybe not. Uh, that would be in my notebook. Charger. Uh, a herd machine that digs up natural resources to convert into biofuel. Although easily startled, it will defend itself before eventually fleeing. Scaredy cats. Uh, okay. It's got the PSI overrides, mountable machine, but I don't think I can make a mount yet, which is weird because that's exactly what Aloy did to get here, but I, d I don't think I can. So they're just there. We don't need to mess with them. I remember in the first game, I did, like, run into some parts where I had to do some grinding to hunt animals, so I probably should have taken down that raccoon. If I see other small animals like that, I'll, I'll take them down. Alright, are these run-of-the-mill burrowers? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Alright, we'll avoid them. To override machines and cauldrons before. Dang it. You weren't supposed to tell your friends. No, don't go underground. That's rude. Alright, where's he gonna come out? Ooh, got him in the eyeball. Don't you dare charge up at me. Yeah, the brush is just everywhere. Get on the open where I can see. Oh, think you can dodge me, huh? Yeah, you like that? Ugh. Check this! Oh, rock coming. Man, I cannot seem to hit their eyeball. There we go. Oh, he got me. Ooh, low health. Didn't even notice. Finish him off. Oh, no ammo. No ammo. Fix that. Got him. Got him. There was a zip line next to the tower, or next to the top of that tower that you just repelled down. Oh, was there? I missed it. I missed it. Just enjoying a nice little saunter down the river. Oh, is that a raccoon? Yeah, let's take him out. Sorry, raccoon. Find and tag wildlife with the focus. This makes animals easier to track. Yeah, it's also easy to just shoot them. All right, Eastern beast rib and wild meat. Eastern Beast rib, a thick, meaty animal rib harvested from wild game often found in the Daunton No Man's Land. Used for purchasing food from cooks in the Daunton No Man's Land settlements. And then we got the wild meat, a decent sized cut of animal meat harvested from any animal. Same thing. Oh, and for crafting uh, fast travel packs. Which is weird. I don't know why I need meat to fast travel, but I guess it's saying, like, yeah, you're going to eat on the way. So, you kind of need food. I right, got unknown campfire coming up.
Manual save. Do it again. Alright, what the heck? Some major logging over here. It's a grapple point there. I'm not sure, sure why. <laughs> Easy to get up. It's a strange place. I feel like it wasn't logged. I feel like a giant machine just like plowed through here. Like you wouldn't expect so much just chunks of wood on the ground like this, or at least I wouldn't. I wonder if this game will have bandit camps? I I would imagine. I'd be surprised if they didn't. I think they'll probably retain the bandit camps. I think they'll probably retain the the challenges, the hunting challenges. But just a guess, I don't actually know. Alright, there doesn't seem to be anything here. There is something over there though. Scavenger scrap pile. Alright, he was nice enough to build a little pile for us. Oh, it doesn't kill him? Well, don't let him tell his friends. There we go. That is an interesting change. I believe in the first game, whenever I did a silent strike on something, it was an automatic kill. I believe. Purple. A purpley. Verdant bloom, that's new. What's this? Is this another die thing? It is a die thing. Uh, once called Hidden Wisdom by Sun King Marzid, the bloom's association with Tanakh lands saw the Sun King Hivas rename it to the Crevice Snake, often found growing on rocky cliffs. That is incorrect? Oh, okay. I thought the uh, on the first game it was always an auto kill. I guess not. And what we got here? Ancient Black Bracelet and Ancient Wraith. Ah, she crap. To me. Dude, you don't have any friends left? I killed them. Ain't no friends for you. Ow. Ow. Jeez, that backflip did some damage. Alright, hold on, hold on. We got the We got just the thing for you. We got just the thing for you. Boom! Get out of my house. Oh, God! All oh, right, I keep trying to shoot them in the face, and that's not where I want to be hitting them. Man, they did not have that move before. That, like, constant electrical discharge, that is nasty. Eat this! Oh, never mind. Don't eat that. All right, I, I keep wanting to melee them, but it's not working, and I'm taking... Significant damage. Right, just get way the heck away. Oh, knocked him down mid-air, and it's all over. All right, what is this thing? What is this? Oh, it's just a grab. Oh, I could go up there and just shoot him. Nice. I didn't know that. That's cool. Under one of the skill trees, I forget which, you can upgrade your silent strike. Yeah, we might have to do that. Oh, cool. Got a blast trap back. I got it back. Oh, the rich meat was the one I never looked at before. So what's the difference between the regular meat and the rich meat? Rich meat, a large fatty cut of... No, I looked at that before. Earn, did I? Maybe I didn't. What's it do again? For purchasing food from cooks. Okay, maybe I did. I don't know. 
Oh, what's this? So generous. Flash traps. The snow brought the chill. Wow, this has a lot of crap in it. These dudes were collecting for me. Look at this. I got a bunch of traps and toys now. I like it. Got piles for me. It's beautiful. This is apparently the place to go. It's Infiltrator or, or Warrior. I would imagine it's Infiltrator. Did I go up there? I don't think I did. Or did I? Maybe I did. Yeah, we looked all over there. Okay. Uh, oh, I wonder if that's another one of those uh, tower things. It might be. Let's go check this out. It just might be. What is that? Oh, is that like a cave or something? Why are you so glowy? Are you revealing something special? No. It looks like something, right? Is the scanner picking up anything? No. It almost looks like it's like arranged in like a shape. Oh, haha! -ha! It was revealing something. Oh no, maybe not. Is that a cave? It is a cave. I knew it. It wouldn't just be glowy stuff for no reason. I knew it. Sunken cavern, Daunt East. Ooh. I feel like something nasty is going to be in here. This just seems like a snake den, doesn't it? Let's get to land. I don't trust this. I do not trust this. I don't trust this at all. Something's making a bunch of noise, too. Uh oh. What have I gotten myself into? And what's that? Oh, we got two supply boxes back there? Well, I gotta go get those. You know there's something bad in here. There's gotta be. And a dead burrower. All the signs point to bad. Oh, crap. Hurry up, Baylor. Don't die. I'm also a... a Anyone who's watched me for a long time knows that I'm a bit of a thalassophobe, so whenever there's water too, I just always assume the worst. Like, any deep water, I'm like, oh god. Oh god, not deep water. No good can come of this. No good can come of this. I did get some green shines. Hard and shiny. Alright. Alright. Shockingly, there doesn't seem to be anything overly scary here. I still don't trust it, and it kind of looks like there's something down there. I don't know if I can get down there. I don't know if she's got the oxygen for it. Well, guess we'll find out. Another sliver. Nice. Got three of these things already. She going drown? She might. She might. Ayla's a champ, though. I think she can handle it. Shinies, get out of the water. Wait, there's a loot. Get back in. Exactly. Exactly. Priorities. My need for shinies 
will absolutely overcome my my um, fear of the water. Wait, where was that thing? Was way over here, is that right? I feel like there was one that was closer. Oh, there's two more down there. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, hold on. We're not done yet. How do we get... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Uh, we missed a bunch, and what is that? A rock barrier? Can be cleared with... Uh, we must... Uh, there must be a way to, to empty this. I don't think I can use a pool caster while swimming, so there must be a way to empty out this cave. All right, well, we're not lacking for these sliver things, that's for sure. I can't progress here yet? Well, that may be so, but I can grab the shinies. The shinies must be grabbed. But I might not be able to get all of them because some of these are pretty deep. <laughs> Don't do it, Aloy. Don't die on me. All right, those other ones might be too deep. Subnautica must be your nightmare game. I've never played it, but probably, probably. All right, I think I got everything I can. And then there's this rock barrier, which would take you deeper. All right, anyways, we gotta get out of here. You don't yet have the required equipment to swim deep enough to progress. All right, well, it was nice enough to warn me. I think I got everything currently obtainable, except for whatever's this way. Wait, there was something this way, or did I turn myself around? Oh, I'm supposed to go this way. Last, I think later in the game you acquire a breathing mask. Yeah, apparently I get something that's gonna let me hold my breath for longer. But it looks like I can get two more shinies on my way out. other one at there was another one there it is oh purple purpley I like that another bracelet all right we're gonna be rich Aloy should already be rich considering what she did but I guess they didn't pay her cheapskates Alrighty. Anything nearby? We could climb up. Oh, something over there. Let's... Oh, what's that? Would be interested in this. A golden bloom. Is that another die one? Probably. This golden bloom was once used to mark convicted Karja thieves with a stain of their greed, often found growing on rocky cliffs. So it seems like all this dye stuff grows on rocky cliffs. Maybe. I think there was another thing up above, wasn't there? Or no. I guess not. Alright, what is that? Oh, I missed the scrap pile back there? Well, let me go remedy that. Or is that a separate scrap pile? Where would it go? Oh, did they respawn? 
I know, this is a different spot. He yeah, has a different spot. Alright, I don't know if we keep bothering with it. Wait. That's something new. That's a fang horn. Let's take a look at that. Fang horn, a herd machine that dissolves natural resources to convert into biofuel. Its horns can clap shut with great force and shoot fire attacks over long distances. Variants. Oh, they have variants. That's what I missed before. Wow, look how many variants the burrower has. That's crazy. All right, so fire fanghorn is the variant here. So it's got the uh, blaze canisters that I can't do anything about. Okay. Didn't like that. You know, that's taking a lot of damage. Let's drop this. Oh god, that was so slow, Aloy. Holy crap. Could you have dropped that trap any slower? Here we go, here we go. Kaboom! Did nothing. This might be out of my league at the moment. He's seeming kind of nasty. Oh, God. Are you out of my league? I can't tell. Oh, you're taking no damage. I think we, we leave him alone for the time being. Okay. Oh, God. We pissed off some burrowers. I think we head for the hills. Abort, Aloy. Where are we aborting to? Let's see. That was the cave. We haven't gone there. Let's go say hi to the burrowers. Although I think I just said hi to them. All right, don't mess with Fanghorns yet. We got, we got the message. Don't mess with the Fanghorns yet. All right, three burrowers. Can we deal with that? I think we can. I think we can. Drop a trap. Drop a trap. Oh yeah, yeah, right over here. Do it. Boom. Get out of here. One down. Oh god! Oh, you blocked for him, you jerk! Ow! Got him in the eyeball! Got him in the eyeball! It's all over! Nice. Oh. oh man, I died way too late there. Finish him. Got him. Oh, hold up on the D-pad to refill medicine pouch with medicinal berries from your inventory. I didn't know you could do that. Ah, oh, well, that's useful. Don't forget to scan in case they're variant. Oh, yeah. Wow. In that case, I didn't have much of a choice. I was just running from the others. And uh, it looks like a boar went down. Boar hide, rib, and wild meat. What does boar hide do for us? Where is it at? Oh, Echo Shell. A container of compressed air used by machines to generate a powerful sonic blast obtained from machines that use sonic or compressed air attacks. Crafting, tear, and knockdown ammunition is what it's used for. Where is that boar meat? There it is. Or boar hide. A large hide carved from a boar, harvested only from boars, often found in the daunt. It's used for upgrading ammunition and tool pouches at the workbench. I see. Oh, maybe we'll get some more medicine. Ah, uh, what is that little thing? 
What is that? Uh, it's gone. What was that? I I don't know. All right, anyway. Oh, there's a data point here. Nice. Sun Liquor Politics. A grease-stained scroll filled with hastily scrawled glyphs. Uh, these sun liquors and their scorched out diplomacy. Let's not fuss around the forge. It's a pretty word the Karja use for not stepping on Tanakh toes, which they shouldn't. They have every reason to be afraid of those brutes. But I'm not Karja. I didn't try and invade the West over and over again, just because I felt like it. I have no use for these embassies, another polite term for waving the white flag and saying, please don't kill us. And now I'm stuck on this side of the wall too, because the Karja couldn't keep it in their sheath. Yeah, sure, things are different now. Sun King of Odd believes in peaceful dialogue. whoop de doo for you. But simple delvers, traders, and tinkerers like me are sitting on our hands until the priests and marshals finish their little tea party or whatever it, or whatever it is they do out there. Not to mention our brothers and sisters on the other side of the wall. How are they supposed to get help and supplies when the gate is shut tight? How much longer do we have to cool our heels? I heard they're waiting on some sun priest to arrive. But weren't those nitwits the root of the problem to begin with? They riled up the mad sun king to start the western invasion in the first place. Writing this was supposed to calm me down, but it's only blown up the bellows. The longer that gate stays closed, the more shards I lose. I've had it. I'm heading over to Baron Light. Someone's going to get... A blast of hot air for all the good it'll do. And is that another of those? Wow, these slivers are common. All right, here I thought it was super cool when I found one, and it's turning out to not be so super cool. Nice, but I still Those's want them. The green I got five. What is this? Uh, it's just a trail marker. All right, that makes no sense. It's got a a display on the focus for chain scrape. But how would the focus know? That should only work for old stuff. How would the focus be able to interpret that? Oh, a crow. Get crow. Ah, crap. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Boom! Got him! Right out of the air. Let him perfectly. Oh, just meat. Here I thought I'd be rewarded. Just meat. Okay, let's see. That's probably another of those lenses. Let's see what this is. Oh, that might be a lens too. In fact, I'd bet money on it. that valuables <laughs> right, up we go get some die stuff on the way Over there. Hmm. Pale Bloom. Good die. Uh, named Winter's Dawning by the Karja scribe Enlightened Avarad. This is hardy and aromatic, or this hardy and aromatic plant actually blooms all year round. <laughs> shinies no like when get no shinies. Exactly. I'm a simple man. We got another verdant bloom. This place is 
Must have seen better days. Alright, our second signal tower. Oh, discovered a blocked path. Oh, I might not be able to do this signal tower at the moment. I don't think I can get past them. Guess I should leave it for now. Hmm. All right, so we got a second one of these um, flower things. Is it actually on my map? It, it. Oh, the signal tower is. So it just says blocked path. But I don't think that means I can't do the signal tower. Or maybe it does. I can't do the. I figured it starts snowing soon. Oh, maybe I can. Yeah, look at that. No problem. But yeah, I can't do the metal flower. So blocked path is a weird way to indicate that. But yeah. Thing over there I missed. I don't know. Ah, uh, Aloy. I'd feel much more comfortable if you grabbed that. <laughs> oh god, no, Aloy! Woo! Woo! Don't do that. None of that. I got lucky there. Made it. And there's another one of those devices. Alright, I still have no idea what these do. But I got it. The yes. lens of morning. Guess I'll figure out what to do with it later. Exactly. Lens of morning, a dome-shaped piece of glass that refracts light. Recovered from a Karja signal tower northeast of Chain Scrape. Okay, I think we're done up here. All right, so two metal flowers we have not been able to secure. All right, we're getting closer to our objective. I do kind of want to go check that out. Is that another signal tower? There's another watchtower on that ridge across the valley. Looks like a long climb to get up there. Wow, that's actually... That's actually kind of impressive. She said something relevant to my location when I looked at it. I wonder if that was just luck or if, like, they have different dialogue for where she sees it from. If it actually adjusts, that's pretty crazy. Old barrel? Oh, can you blow these up? Oh, these... Wait, these have things in them? I've been passing these up like crazy. I can break these? Oh, man. Oh, I've passed up so many of these. I got a fiber zest? What is that? Nobody told me. It's a fiber zest. A potent plant shaving that has a bright, slightly acidic taste. Rarely harvested from any plant. Crafting the most potent potions. Okay. And then, yeah. I had no idea that these had things in them. Alright, well. We know to break those now. <laughs> Some of the shinies, exactly. I didn't know! I didn't know. Don't judge me. Right. Oh, 
picking something up there. How do I get up there? Maybe here? Uh, I don't think I can get up there from here. I might have to go around to the right. Climb up this cliff. Oh, maybe right here. Might be able to reach the tower I saw at the top. Wait, what was that? Oh, never mind. Wait a minute. I guess I have to go up and then down for that? Yeah, I think so. Okay. We'll figure it out. Oh! I uh, did the grapple. Be careful not to let this stain my hands. Okay, well, I got this one at least. I'm gonna have a lot of die options. Alright, now can I get over there? I think so. No. No. I think I have to go this way. Oh, and then maybe. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that jump. It's pro status. Made it. Better have something good for me. I came all this way. You better have something good. Oh, I uh, went in here. Oh, it's crap. Pack's full, but my stash has room. It gave me crap. What is that? Another supply cache. Is that on the other side? Is that the one I saw? I think so. Okay. I don't think I can jump that high. Let's go this way. for making dyes. Ooh, what do we got? There's the tower. I still got a ways to go to reach the top. Why aren't you climbing up? Go! Okay. Uh. Why? Why? Why won't you climb up? Okay. No? Okay. Alright. <laughs> what, what is going on? Go up! Alright, what if I go over here? No. Hey, hey! There we go. There we go. All right, we got another cache and another cache. Can I mark these? No, I can't mark them, that sucks. Uh, we got something at the top of the tower and I think that's it. Ooh, leap of faith. Oh, that's, 
That's just some die. Oh no, it's over there. All right, here we go. Do it! Oh jeez. Dyer can make use of this. Oh jeez. Oh, we're not done yet. They're making me work for my shinies. Go. Oh, didn't make it. Ah. At least that didn't end in tragedy. Oh no, how do I get back up though? Oh good. Oh, I was actually supposed to fall. Might have overdone it with these dies. But, okay, uh. almost there. Weird. The first barrel gave me something, and I haven't gotten anything since. There we go. I got I got a fiber zest. I got something. Are you doing? Oh, that's not cool. Here we are. Looks like there's another device up here. All right, the lens of the midday. Lens. I'll tuck this away for now. Same thing as before. All right, where was that uh, chest or whatever up here? Or was that the lens I was picking up? It might have been the lens. Yeah, that was the lens. Okay, we're out of here. I can almost see the entire valley up here. Nice. No wonder the Karja built this watchtower. That is so beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Holy crap. All right, let me make sure that was indeed what I saw, and yes. Okay. Pretty big uh, settlement they have. Is that, is that the other tower I did? I think so. How many repels down do I need? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I didn't miss anything, did I? I don't think so. Okay, and from here, I guess I just drop. Chance grip. Drew said I could get my bow upgraded in there. Might be able to tinker with my other gear too. There's another watchtower on the other side of the valley. I wonder if it's got a lens at the top. He did that watchtower. Yeah, I did that one. Maybe she saw. An oh, maybe she saw that. No, I don't think that's anything. All right. Anyways, uh, do 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 do. Probably take a quick look over there, because that seems like... Yeah, there's something over there. I'm going to go take a quick look over there, and then we'll finally go into the settlement. This is where I went up, yeah. And I already... That was that watcher place I went to before, right? Yeah. Okay.
A barrel, I must smash it. Or, or try to. There we go. Pro. Slowly getting my supplies back up. Oh, what do we got over here? Grapple points. And pro. Alright, what's going on over here? What is going on here? Nothing. It's like nothing. this away for later. Okay, where am I? Okay, so it was over here that I'm pretty sure there was something. We got a little waterfall over here. I don't think that's anything. No. Alright, well, is there something over here or not? I assume there was. But perhaps not. Seems like there should be something. What? Oh, well, we found this. What is this? Pry open. Another green shine fragment. Oh wait, that's that's different from the sliver. Green shine fragment, a small piece of a rare, highly valuable green crystal found most commonly in desert regions, often off the beaten path. It's also for upgrading, purchasing rare coils, we use a machine parts. Okay. Apex glint hawk heart? Oh wow. Well. An Apex Sky Drifter heart. Look at those. A flawless metal heart card from the core of an Apex Glint Hawk. Obtained only from Apex Glint Hawks. I think the hearts from the first game were super rare, so this might be one heck of a find, actually. And then the Apex Sky Drifter heart. A flawless metal heart card from the core of an Apex Sky Drifter. Uh, you just sell these for shards, though. I thought these were for upgrades in the first game. Maybe they were. Maybe they changed them. Either way, that fragment is probably a good find. I don't know about those hearts. Alright, so I was right. There was something over here. Not exactly what I was expecting, but hey. My intuition was correct. Okay, so yeah, let's go check out the settlement. Are we on until 10? Yeah, we got 30 minutes left. So most likely we'll just check out the settlement a little bit and uh, potentially slightly progress the story. Big barrels, I guess something special? Or no? Maybe charge the tank? No? Alright. I guess it's just a keg. But why aren't these breaking? Why why are you so special? Why aren't you breaking? I don't know. Alright, those are special barrels, they don't break. 
How's Blue, Blue doing? She's okay. I mean, she's been not feeling all that great recently, but she's uh, she's hanging in there. Where is the rip command for general to see how many times he got killed by Miss Chen? <laughs> what? Olven can't just ignore us like this, can he? We almost died because of him. Have you seen us? What are we supposed to do? Have Arnold throw his crutch at him? I am hearing people from inside. Let's take the main gate like a civilized person. Stealth kelp will hide you from underwater enemies. Stealth kelp. I guess that's stealth kelp over there. Oh, wait a minute. I see another fragment. Or a sliver, rather, not a fragment. All right, so these things are not that rare. And what happened here? Something left some poison behind. Cash. Dead machine. It must be a bristleback. Maybe Errand took it down. Ground soaked with acid. Did the bristlebacks do this? Alright, let me take these out really quick. Maybe said enough. It's not a big deal, just finish it off with some follow-up hits. Oh, no ammo. Oh, crap! Well, he's got a friend. Wasn't expecting that. Wait, he just hit his friend. <laughs> nice! Got some help. Ow. Ow, we got no more easy weak points to hit. Oh, good, he's down. Get him! Got him. What are you doing over there? I don't like it. I don't know what it is, but I don't like it. Take this! Ah, it didn't work. Man, that attack is so hard to dodge. All right, took care of business. Oh, well, we got some resource canisters off. Hopefully those sturdy hard plates will come in handy. We'll see. Okay. Like I said, let's go check out the settlement. Looks like they have the gate closed. Outlander approaching. That the savior? Wanna come in, savior? Chain scrape. Welcome to Chain Scrape, Savior. Open up, guys. Jar of servers. 
Good enough for me. By the forge. Petra? Aloy, what are you doing here? Uh, about time there was something worth looking at in this dump. It's nice to see you two. And not a moment too soon. Come on. I... Damn brewery's the only thing I can count on in this place. Yeah, I heard. Machines, work stoppage. Oh, those are just the latest malfunctions. Chain scrape's always been a few tools short of a kit. And right there is the biggest tool of all. Not our land, not our problem. The bristlebacks are everybody. Roland? You've heard of him. Yeah. But he's a story. Best told over a cold beer. Uh, Petra, Petra. I'm just passing through. I'm headed west. Oh. There's an embassy at, at Baron Light I need to make happen, and then I keep moving. Ah, of course. Bigger gears to grind. Well, Flame Hair, good to see you. You've got to move on. Petra. But if you want a cold beer and a few laughs with an old friend, come find me at the brewery. Your choice. Well, this old one guy sounds like trouble. Maybe Petra could use some support. But first things first, I need to find that workbench and upgrade my bow. All right. I actually remember Petra, although apparently Victoria doesn't. Um, but we can get a quick update on her in the character bios, and for some reason it skipped somebody. Huh. Petra, the Osram Tinker. Aloy first encountered Petra at the settlement of Free Heap, where the Tinker sought to build a life for herself outside the hard-headed rules and misogynistic customs of the Osram homeland. It was thanks to cannons of Petra's making that Aloy and her allies were able to defend the Karja capital at the Battle of the Alight. Always one to seek out new challenges, Petra later moved to Chainscrape, a frontier settlement in the Daunt, near the infamous Forbidden West. Alright, let's take a look around. There's a bunch of quests here. So we got some uh, some side things to do. It counts. Of course it counts. You're far from it home, counts. Nora. I sure am. Can't see. <coughs> I can't you see I'm trying to drink here? <laughs> nice. Olven can't just ignore us like this, can he? Thanks for bringing it up. We almost died because of him. <laughs> Have you seen us? What are we supposed to do? Have Arnoff throw his crutch at him? I see you all made it back. Hammer and tongs. That they did, Huntress. They tell me you blasted through the problem. Lokuf here came back trembling like a twig. Hey! What's important is everyone made it out. No thanks to Olven. Have you talked to him yet? We're on the waiting list. Doesn't have the guts to face all of us at once. We need to stick together, in case he decides to send his goons over. You're all banged up as it is. I can deal with Ulva. You don't need to stick around. We know, the old hammer. <laughs> Just stay safe. Does this mean you're buying us all drinks then? Not if I drink the tavern dry first. I am never going into a mine again. <laughs> but you're good at anything else. <laughs> Douse your forge, Loka. Can't hurt that bad. You don't have bruises on your behind because someone dropped you on your way out of the mines. Does this mean you're buying us all drinks all right, then? Let's keep I looking like around. The tavern drive first. Good to see those miners made it out. That all about. 
Alright, anyway, something back here. Just looting someone's belongings, no big deal. I can grab this from my stash later. Typical behavior. I did save the world. Everyone owes me everything. Ho there. Hello. Do you want to talk? We'll talk soon. Oh, okay. I need to make this right. We will. Don't worry. Alright, that's where that thing was that I saw. There's something to the left as well. Who's Hakund? Shop looks closed. Yep. Can I still use the workbench? I ain't gonna stop you. <laughs> All right. Shop's closed, Red. You're welcome to use the workbench. Best I can do. Workbench is free if you need to tinker with that gear. Can't be doing any business while chain scrapes on lockdown. Okay, so we got some weapon upgrades that we can do. Available upgrades is two. Upgrade your weapons to improve their performance and unlock customizations. Like additional coil slots and new ammo types. So, the bow's got two upgrades that we can get apparently. Oh wait, that's not the bow. All right, well, apparently our uh, Frost Blastling could get an upgrade. We haven't been using it. Maybe I should. Uh, but let's look at the bow first. So the Hunter Bow, let's see. Level 1 upgrade unlocks new ammo, increases weapon stats. And we need Metal Shards and Braided Wire. We got plenty of that. Upgrade it. Upgrade complete. Weapon stats improved. And we now get Acid Hunter Arrows. Awesome. That'll come in handy. Uh, let's see. We could upgrade it again. Metal shards, braided wire, and a burrower circulator. This looks like um, impact damage goes up 21. And tear goes up... Or, sorry. Impact goes up 221. Up 3. Tear goes up 10. Acid damage goes up 1 and 6. Sure. Let's do that. Oh, and that, we could get the third upgrade if we wanted to. It would open up a weapon coil slot. But let's wait, because I don't know if I want to use my only burrower sound shell on this. So let's wait on that. Let's look at the Frost Blast Sling. Upgrade on this. Seems reasonable to me. Let's do it. And we cannot get the second one. We need a Bristleback Circulator. Okay. Outfit we can upgrade. Upgrade your outfits to improve their resistances and unlock additional benefits like skill boosts and weave slots. So I've got the Nora, Nora Anointed armor on. Well-worn armor made with repurposed technology from an ancient lab. After losing its power source, it was modified to augment ranged combat. So, metal shards and a sturdy hard plate. We get some skills. We get concentration regen and potent medicine. So, those will go up to level 2 because I believe I have both of those skills. Melee goes up 1. Impact, or melee goes up 2. Impact goes up 2. And acid goes up 6. I'll take it. Let's see, this one will be metal shards, a sturdy hard plate, and a burrower circulator. Another concentration regen, so it'll go up two. So it'll be level three? That doesn't seem right. And then potent medicine again? Oh, no, it goes up. I see, I see. Only the concentration regen goes up. Potent medicine stays the same. Melee and impact goes up. Shock goes up with this upgrade and acid once again. Sure. Sure. 
And level three, we need Fanghorn Antlers, and we saw how much of a pain those are, so that's going to be a long time coming, I'm sure. Okay. Looks good to me. And then trap crafting. Oh, I could craft traps here, but why would I... Why would I do that? Is there a reason? No. Uh, potion crafting. Pouch upgrades? I can't do any? No, this is what I need the the hunting for. Squirrel hides, raccoon hides, yeah, all that stuff. Okay. Okay, and then special gear. Pull caster I have. There's three more that apparently we don't have yet. All right, looks good. This should be useful. Now I just need to find Aaron and help him clear the bristlebacks. All right. We got our upgrades, and we got something in here. All of that shiny hunting has come in handy. As it always does. The grapple point, I think. Oh, it's a campfire. Let me go get that. Go see what this side quest is. Ask her. I don't know what she's doing here. The bristles. I just threaten us all. Oh, drop the act. We all know it was the Carger who let the bristlebacks into the valley. Sent them straight oh, through the gates of barren light. Working that is always. preposterous. Why what? would we let dangerous Not machines again. into our own land? You mean the land that honest Osram laborers work tirelessly with no say in its governance? The land that should you sign the decree? Oh, you and that damned concession <laughs> decree. Would be managed by the people who actually live and work on it. You had to bring it up, huh? What do you want, Olbunt? Some kind of payment? My dear magistrate, you think I can be bought? If you want that whistle blown, all you have to do is have your soldiers remove the bristlebacks and sign the concession decree. Face it. What other choice do you have? <clears throat> Hi. Savior, what auspicious timing. Might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Very well. I shall be waiting. So, the Savior herself. Walloper of Durval, gutter of youth. Maybe. I've heard many tales of your beauty and heroics, my fierce lady warrior. Olfant Freehold, at your service. So, what could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this smudge of a settlement? Your saviorly attention must be needed elsewhere. I'm here for the embassy and- The embassy? Why, uh, by the forge. Ah. Greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving on. Once I've dealt with any problems around here that need my... saviorly attention. Ah, the bristlebacks, of course. Got to get rid of them if you want that embassy to take place. Well... Best get to it, hey? And off you go. Not so fast. You and the Karja? You don't seem to have a high opinion of the Magistrate. Well, I refuse to play nice to some fancy-robed parchment pusher when my fellow laborers are being bullied, intimidated, and taken advantage of. How noble of you. Noble? Ha! Born with a hammer in hand, I was. Nobody handed me anything or dropped opportunity into my lap. Everything I've achieved, I've done on my own. And where is this hammer now? The, uh, burden of leadership forced me to set it aside. The Karja risk nothing while demanding that good Osram gamble with their lives out there. Someone had to step up and say no more. Work stoppage? You ordered the work stoppage? Indeed I did. We're laborers, not soldiers. 
and tell the Karja clean up their mess and give us the fair deal we deserve, I'm not risking Osirum lives. Fair deal? You mean your concession decree? <laughs> it's not my decree. It's on behalf of all the good Osirum laborers of this land who do all the backbreaking work while only the Karja reap the rewards. All we're asking for is the ability to share in this prosperity for a land worked by the people for the people. Right. And just how much would be your share? Only an amount appropriate to my contributions to this community, uh, of course. Who appointed you? If Chain Scrape is on Karja land, shouldn't a Karja be in charge? Who appointed you? The sensibilities of good Osram folk, of course. You think a Karja can head this whole venture? Bah! The Magistrate can barely make the trek from Baron Light without losing a few screws. So you have no real authority then? People only follow you because you say so. Loudly. Anyone who has followers has authority. I've been with Chain Scrape from the beginning. I mean, I'm practically its founder, and its honest folk know I'm indispensable to its success. Founding of Chainscrape? You said you founded Chainscrape. Somehow I doubt that. Practically founded, I said. I alone saw its potential when it was just a smattering of tents in barren light shadow. I invested in the mine, convinced some friends back home to do the same, and here we are. You could say Chain Scrape is what it is, thanks to me. Oh, so you're not just standing around and profiting off everyone else? Not at all. Sure, I make a little return on my investment here and there, but my main priority, as it was from the beginning, is to look after the well-being of these honest, working Osram. Bristlebacks? Where's the whistle? Right in the middle town, but with the threat out there, I'm not endangering innocent Osram lives. I'm going to clear out the bristlebacks. And when I'm done, this valley is going to get moving. If that's what it takes. Until then, I'll keep looking after the safety of these good folk. Just be ready to blow the whistle. New side quest. Better see what the bristlebacks. The magistrate wanted. I bet he's in the tavern. All right, so that's a new side quest. It's level seven. Bristlebacks have run rampant in the Daunt, but how did they get into the valley in the first place? Talk to the Karja Magistrate, and this one's gonna give us two skill points. So it seems like the standard for these side quests is uh, two skill points. So that's nice. That lets us advance very quickly. All right, and uh, Petra's supposed to be in the tavern as well. Grab this. Almost ready to go. Ramp living. Okay, that quest is there. That's a new quest. Unknown, unknown machine strike. I don't know what that means. Oh, I did want to go check out that, um, the outfitter. Hold on. Still here, I see. No, nope, I'm going. I have other places to be. <laughs> By all means, don't let me stop you. That dude is so punchable. Just punch him. You're the savior, you can get away with it. Oh, I talked to you? No. I talked to you. Uh, I guess I can't use the outfitter, okay? It's weird. Uh, wait. To the brink, go to Aaron's last location. Oh, I don't have it tracked. That's why it's not showing up. So if I track it, then it'll show? Yeah, okay, so it's there.
My eyebrows. New data point. A complaint form smudged with ash and filled with angry glass. Wait, can I read it from here? Oh, wow, I can. I guess her, uh, I guess her focus has gotten better. All right, scroll. A complaint form smudged with ash and filled with angry glyphs. Javad, please help. The product in question maimed me. I filled out the required form below, and I still can't even get a refund from Dala and Boomer. I beg you, give me justice. Complainant, Jordert Guardsman. Product description, Bangbuster, I think. Boombuster? Does it matter? I bought it three days ago. I know you remember me. Incident description. Again, I just told you. I was demonstrating this scorched out hammer to my fellow guardsmen by slamming it on a piece of rock and instead of booming the rock, it boomed towards me and now I don't have any eyebrows. Am I surprised? Am I sad? Nobody can tell since I no longer have eyebrows. So in case you weren't aware, let me tell you I'm very unhappy and I want my shards back. Refund denied. Customer was made fully aware of the prototype's volatility at time of purchase. Proceeded with purchase regardless, proclaiming, I am not a baby. Savior, thank you for taking the time, and my condolences that you had to endure all once bloviating. I've dealt with worse. It sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. The idea that the Karja purposely let Bristlebacks into the dawn, it's, it's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. How did the Bristlebacks get into the daunt? No one knows for sure. The first report of them came from west of the quarry. But unless they have wings I don't know about, I don't see how they could have come over the mountains. No other way in. The only way I know about is barren light. Look, if you can get to the bottom of this, I can offer a considerable bounty in return. Help me shut Olvent up. Concession decree? What is this concession decree that Olvind wants? He wants the Sundom to designate portions of the Daunt as Osaram holdings. Only the portions, mind you, that produce any value. Let me guess, because he stands to profit somehow? Exactly. With the Daunt under Osaram law, he could secure more investment for their numerous ventures. He can't get those investments without the concession? No. Not while there's a chance the Sundom could revoke their access. Hence, why the concession is so important to him. And why blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks, no matter how absurd, works in his favor. Blaming the Karja? How does blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks help Olven get his concession? Look around. This may be the Sundom, but... Chain scrape is all gears and rust and bad ale. Claiming that the Karja loosed the bristlebacks in order to intimidate Osaram laborers into obedience. Well, let's just say no one here has forgotten the atrocities of the mad Sun King. And with the bristlebacks bringing work in the valley to a halt, Alvunt has plenty of time to pick at barely healed wounds. And if the Osaram refuse to work, unless the concession is signed, you won't have a choice. Correct. The reconstruction of Baron Light must continue. Your role? How did you get stuck out here? I asked for the posting, believe it or not. Overseeing the entire valley on behalf of the Sun King? It was an honor. Is an honor, I mean. But your job would be a lot easier without someone like Olvind blasting hot air all the time? Olvind's not going anywhere. He's been around longer than I have. Even fancies himself the founder of Chainscrape. <sighs> well, I'll find a way to live with him. I have to. First sighting. You said the Bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? 
Yes, according to one terrified laborer, said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside. He took off and ran all the way here. Good place to start looking, then. If you learn the truth, maybe Ulvant will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun, and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead. All right, so search west of the quarry for the bristlebacks, which would be way over here. Uh, I think we'll probably save that side quest for a little bit later. I think it's higher than our main quest, too. Our main quest is, yeah, our main quest is level 5. That was a level 7. What was that first one? That was a level 5. All right. Yeah, maybe we'll, um, maybe I'll do what I do in a lot of games and just go by whatever's the lowest level. But we'll see. We'll see. I haven't decided on that yet. Um, anyways, let me go to the campfire and save. Where was that, um... Oh, wait, where's that data pad? It was right here? Yeah, that was the eyebrows one. Okay. Alright, yeah, let's go to the campfire, get a save in, and we'll call it a night. Oh, and actually, before we go, um, let me, uh, let me look at more of these tutorial things, because I want to get rid of that exclamation mark. So, let's see, we got attacking... Elemental damage, state buildup. We know about that. Fire. They take damage over time. Shock. Stuns. Frost makes them brittle. So impact damage does more. Acid puts them in corroded state for damage over time and less damage resistance. Purge water is new. Purge water is represented by this icon. Purge water damage builds up to the drenched state. Enemies in the drenched state are more susceptible to frost and shock buildup. And any elemental damage is removed from their attacks for the duration. Interesting. So it's for building up element damage. And then plasma is also new. Elemental damage. Plasma is represented by the purple icon. Plasma damage builds up to the plasma blast state. The plasma blast state decays into a time-delayed explosion on the target. Deal more impact damage before the end for a stronger explosion. Okay, so you get the plasma state, and then you get as much damage as possible, and then it makes the blast stronger. Got it. Status effects. There's binding. Tie it down so it can't move. Adhesive. This is new. Adhesive is rep represented by the yellow icon. Adhesive damage builds up to the slowed state. In the slowed state, enemies are unable to move quickly and cannot use certain attacks. If you are in the slowed state, you will move and dodge more slowly. So you can get slowed as well. Berserk is also new. Berserk is represented by the red icon. Berserk damage builds up to the berserk state. In this state, enemies will attack the nearest target regardless of whether they are friend or foe. This state only affects enemies. The crushed state. This also is new, I believe. The crushed state is represented by the broken bone icon. During this state, performing physical actions like jumping, rolling, and running will cause you to lose health. These actions cannot kill you, but leave you at one health. Consumables blocked. Status effects... Oh, do the side quests as soon as you get them. They change the main story. Yeah. Yeah, we might have to do that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyways, consumables blocked is also new. The consumables blocked state is represented by the no potion icon. During this state, you are unable to consume potions or food. Healing via medicinal berries is still available. The state only affects you. Focus scrambled. That's also new. The focus scrambled state is represented by the no focus icon. During this state, your focus will be temporarily disabled, preventing you from scanning enemies and seeing their patrol paths. The state only affects you. There's the tracked state, also new, I believe. The tracked state is represented by the eyeball icon. During this state, enemies will be able to track your location, even if you attempt to re-enter stealth or hide behind cover. The state only affects you. Blinded and deafened, also new. 
Enemies that create bl bright flashes or produce loud shrieks or roars can temporarily hinder your senses. In the blinded state, your surroundings will become difficult to see. In the deafened state, Aloy will cover her ears and unequip her weapon. These states only affect you. Damage dampened. Also new. The damage dampened state is represented by the bow icon. During this state, the amount of damage that you can inflict is temporarily decreased. This state only affects you. Damage amplified. The damage amplified state is represented by the up arrows, the chevron thing, and the skull looking icon. Also new. During this state, enemies become deadlier as the amount of damage that they can inflict is temporarily increased. The state only affects enemies and then their stamina drain, which I believe is also new. The stamina drain state is represented by the downward chevrons. During this state, your weapon stamina will drain over time, reducing or removing the ability to use weapon techniques. The state only affects you. So lots of new stuff. Lots of new stuff. I'll check out the other stuff as we um, continue on, because there's still a lot here. Uh, there's a lot here, actually. So yeah, we'll just have to deal with the uh, with the exclamation mark for now. How are we doing on data points? Looks like we have... Hmm. Well, they're going in order, so that's a good sign. That would indicate that we probably haven't missed anything. But I don't know that to be true. And our game progression, we're apparently at 3.59%. So, not bad. Alrighty, I need to save. Alrighty, and with that, we're all done for tonight. Uh, tomorrow night, I'll be on Rainbow Six. We'll be back on Horizon on Monday. Monday also happens to be when the next game vote will be started. Roughly Monday. I need to look at the games tomorrow and uh, see what looks interesting for March. Uh, but anyways, thank you all for coming. I hope you had a good time. And I will see you all next time.